Hey guys, Proper English here, and today I'm going to show you a very simple design for a signal strength to binary decoder. This is a device that takes a signal strength input and decodes it into a binary output. And I've set this up so that we don't use any comparators in the decoding logic, and in fact, the decoding process itself only takes two ticks. So this thing's really fast, but you might look at this and say, hey Proper, what are you doing here? This thing's huge. Well, I'm also going to explain why the size of this thing really doesn't matter and the layout is actually ideal for most uses. So let's start off with a demonstration. We'll come down here and I'll flip 11 on. So we've got an input of 11. And if we fly down to our output, we can see that we've turned on the 8-bit, the 2-bit, and the 1-bit. So 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 8 is 11. There's our 11. And so let's take a look at how this thing works. The way this decoder works is identical to the signal strength decoder that I showed you a few days ago. If I fly over here and turn on our 14 input, we see that this line turns off. And the reason this line turns off is because we're getting an input on here and an input off over here. So it's the same kind of situation as the signal strength decoder. The difference is that we're outputting in binary, so when this line is off, all of these torches can turn on and we get our 14 as the output. So you can see we've got an 8, a 4, and a 2. So 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 8 is 14, and there we go. A simple and fast way to decode signal strength to binary. But now, what about the size? Well, let's talk about that. At first glance, this design can look pretty big, especially when you compare it to some of the comparator-based signal strength to binary decoders. The thing is, if we take a closer look, we can see that we're outputting 2 wide per bit, and we can easily stack units of this decoder up. Our input over here lines up directly with our outputs, so that's another nice feature, and in terms of the length, well, you can just factor the length of the decoder into your busing and you're all set. So with all of those things taken into consideration, I'd say that this is a pretty sweet design for a signal strength to binary decoder. It's certainly the one that I'm going to be using because I think two ticks is a totally reasonable delay for a decoder. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time.